while you're turning there, I got some things I want to tell you. While I was studying for this uh, message, I had read in the New York Times there was an article about a star, a light, that's shining in the universe. And it pulsates every 21 minutes. And it's been doing that for 35 years. If you know symbolism, 21 is 3 times 7. 35 years is 7 times 5. And they don't know what that light is. They know everything. They haven't figured out since 1988 what that is. This light that keeps pulsating in the universe, like a heartbeat on schedule every 21 minutes. And I said, Lord, I, I don't know if you're trying to show us something, but I do know that signs of the time, some of them are in the heavens. The scripture makes it clear there'll be signs in the heavens. I want you to imagine that light pulsating every 21 minutes on the dot. On the dot. <clears throat> I'm not going to go 21 minutes into the service today. <laughs> But I want you to think about that as you think about how dark the universe is and, and how this is one light. Of all the things man can figure out in the universe, you can't figure out what that is. Well, the mysteries of God are much, aren't they? But Jesus said something that we all need to understand, and I want you to really listen because some of us are looking for something, some of us are trying to get things through our education, Sometimes we're trying to Everybody's looking for something they can believe in. Everybody's looking for something. I don't care where you live. You may think it's your education that you need when you think you're going to get enlightenment. Everybody's looking for enlightenment. All through the centuries, man has been trying to figure out through art, through science, something to make him feel enlightened and feel purpose and meaning. He's even made golden caps and made images because in the end, as you search through your life, somebody says, I need a God. Because I can't figure out the meaning of life. I can't figure out my existence. I don't even know why I'm here. So man has been on that search, and God decided that he will reveal himself to a nation called Israel as a descendant of Abraham. Jacob became the head of 12 tri tribes. And I want you to think about this. God put within Israel a revelation of himself. He took them out of the wilderness. He showed himself strong. He showed himself strong against Pharaoh. He showed himself strong in the fiery bush, the bush that was, he was speaking out of, the fire on the mountain with the Ten Commandments. And he rained down manna when they was in the wilderness, all to show himself. He healed them of snake bites. He did all kinds of things. The shoes never even wore out 40 years. Right. You ever had a 40-year pair of shoes? <laughs> Listen. Well, 
pussy all up in here saying, I ain't even thought of yet. <laughs> but listen, God showed himself to be strong. Yeah. He was a fire by night. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh God, he just, he just kept showing himself. And when, when they finally got the crossovers, that generation didn't believe it. But he needed a people that believed in his existence. Yeah. He gave them a, 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 a Ten Commandments. He revealed himself to, him, to them. See, God was, all he was doing with Israel is, I'm trying to show you myself. So the people will know there is a real God in heaven. So in Isaiah chapter 42, he talks about who this person is going to be. He's going to be a servant, chapter 42. You there? Yeah. I want to begin reading at verse 6. I, the Lord, have called you in righteousness. I will take hold of your hand. I will keep you and will make you to be a covenant for the people and a light for the Gentiles. He's talking to that nation. He's talking about the Christ that's coming within that nation. And he said, I will make you a light to the Gentiles. If you're not in this nation, you are a Gentile. And he said, I didn't just call Israel just so Israel can be Israel. I called you to be a light to the whole world. I called you to bring forth light so people will know who are ignorant and in darkness about God that there is a God in heaven. They had a testimony, we call it the Old Testament. They have a testimony that says all kinds of things about what God did, who he is, where he is. And often they forsook him anyway. But God said, I will do something better than that. I will send true light. Our message today is the true light. I will send a revelation of someone from my own begotten son. I will send a revelation and understanding to them. I will send someone to conquer their darkness and bring them into the marvelous light. Hallelujah. The true light. Our message today is the true light. You see, we look at TV and, we, and, I, and I sit there and I'm realizing that there ain't nothing but darkness between me and that TV. Yeah. All right. You know, yeah. just plain darkness. Yes. I try to get the news, try to hear some, but it's just darkness. I say, well, that's what's going on in the world. But what's going on in the spirit? I need some light. See, the light will give you real understanding of who God is, what is going on in your life, why he made you, yeah. where he's taking us. Yeah. See, we spend so much time doing everything else, we need to get into the revelation of Jesus Christ. Yeah. We need to get into the true light. See, it's because in the true light is where God is. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, Turn with me to John chapter 1. Oh boy. You wonder why people are turning to drugs, people are turning to this, turning to that, alcohol, anything. Because they're trying, they're trying to find something to make them good about life. Yes. But you see, it's there all along with you. It's Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You, know, you want to know what your life has meaning for, where it's headed, where it's going? It's all about the revelation of Jesus Christ. God started way back then, took a whole nation to bring forth Christ himself through Mary's womb. So that you will know Jesus is what? The light of the world. He conquered the darkness. All this darkness you see around you, all this, all this stuff that's happening, you see, the light is still shining. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's bright and it's shining. Listen, in John chapter 1, John, John wasn't the light himself. And he tried to tell us, and let's read with me a few verses. Verse 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was what? Light. And that life was what? The light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Listen. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light, 
He came only as what? A witness to the light. Read it with me. The true light that gives light to well, how many people? Everyone was coming into the world. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not what? Recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yeah. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believe in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent or of a human decision or a husband's will born of God. Yes. Today I want you to know that is the true light. When you're trying to gain understanding and trying to figure out what history has been showing you, uh, my sons love history, but it's nothing like knowing Jesus Christ to understand history, yeah. to get a revelation of the future, to gain understanding. That's what we need. To know him is eternal life. The more you get to know him, the more you see the light, the more life you really have. Your life is worth living. Yeah. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, I got friends doing all kinds of stuff for me and my wife, but it ain't nothing like serving Jesus yeah. to make you feel like you're alive. Yeah. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? You see, that is real life. The world didn't know him. They didn't comprehend him. People are walking in darkness, but the Bible says the light was for everyone. Yes. The sun don't just shine on you. The light is for everyone, but not everybody comprehends. Not everybody is seeking the true light. You see, we got all these little false lights going on here, but they're going to go out. They're little flashlights, little candles. Soon as the wind comes, they blow right on out. You think you got understanding. You think this religion or that religion will show you the way. But there is only one way. Jesus Christ is the true. You wonder why he has to say that. The true light. Because there's a lot of false lights around here. Yeah. Some people follow a, a nutty politician. I can't get into that. <laughs> Some people follow everybody. But you should follow Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And see, you don't have to worry about politics when you follow Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. God going to take care of everything yes. if you follow following Jesus. But you need to understand this true light. Because when you accept Christ in your heart, there's a light in you, baby. You're like a, you, like, you need to be like a city on a hill. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because when you accept Christ, you have light inside. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 You see, that look, perfect love casts out all fear. You should not be afraid to speak life to people. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You should not be afraid to tell them about the true light yes. because the light that's in your heart will give you more revelation. Yes. Ask God for more of Him and the light will shine through your eyes. People will come to you and say, I don't even know you, but are you a preacher? Mm -hmm. they, some, they get that right sometimes. I'd be wondering if I got a collar, but I don't. <laughs> They'll come to you and they say, I like the way you talk. Are you a Christian? Mm -hmm. You see, you have a light in you because you have the light of Christ. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, when you have the true light, the light is for everyone, so you want to you want to make sure everybody knows the truth. That's right. That's right. You want everybody to know the truth. There was an earthquake in Morocco. There was an earthquake in Afghanistan. There was an earthquake in Turkey this year. All Muslim countries. Maybe God's trying to shake up somebody and say, "Come on, you need to come tell them about the true light." Every religion don't have the light just because they're nice people. But every religion can have the light if they accept Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I got some good news for you. You're a privileged person because you know him. You don't know what that means in the universe. You know God. Yes. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. You know God. But the light is for everybody. 
So many people don't know you. Today I want to tell you how to stay in the light. Go with me to 1 John chapter 2. Oh boy, y'all understand? Yes. First John is toward the back of your body. Mm -hmm. Chapter 2. Verse 3. Have you come to Christ? If you're in here and you haven't come yet, when Greg get up here, I want you to run. Don't just sit there and listen to him. Yeah. He tells good stories, but you need to come up here and run. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because I'm going to tell you something. We don't have that much time for you to figure it out. You don't have that much time. Your children don't have that much time. Your neighbor don't have that much time to figure it out. We don't know the day or the hour, but the signs of the times are here. You understand? Follow no man. Follow who? Jesus. Follow who? Jesus. That's a little better. Men have deceived so many people. It's been, it's been 2,000 years since Jesus went back to heaven. And do you know the deception is just going on every day, all the time, all, all the time. Don't, you know, one thing I learned, always be teachable. Don't think you know everything. Amen. You've heard me say that before. When I was a kid, my dad used to call me Joseph Stokes. And I always tell you, I still don't know who that man is. <laughs> you can't know everything. But that's one thing you need to know. Yes. Above everything. Yes. It's yes. Jesus Christ. Yes. The Son of the living God. Yes. The Word that became flesh. Yes. There is no other one. They tell you you didn't come in the flesh. Tell them you're a liar and an antichrist and the truth ain't in you. Yes. Don't even entertain them. Don't even set them at your table. That's not me. That's scripture telling you that. It's getting too serious, people, for us to play around with. You know, when I think about my mother, I'm 95. I've never had a day where she didn't, wouldn't read scripture, that I was around her. She lived with us for 14 years, not a moment, not a day. <clears throat> when I go to my mama's house, she's Catholic, okay? When you go to my mama's house, she don't read her scriptures every day, but she say her prayers every day. And when you come in there and we sang a happy birthday the other day, I grabbed Lucinda's hand and I made sure she made the sign of the cross. Because my mama was peeping through one eye. And you did it, didn't you? Hallelujah! Sometimes you have to do what it takes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It ain't about your religion. It's not about your rituals. It's about Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Let me tell you something. When you got the true life, life ain't that bad. It doesn't feel that bad. I have, I have children. I have a daughter going through so much right now. But she hold on to the light. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, let me tell you. My wife and I have gone through stuff. I've seen this little leave church here and Bally could get out the car and walk. But she got the light. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. It's so awesome what God can do for you if you just let him be God. Just let him be God. We got my brother here that every time I look at him, I just, I can't help but want to rejoice. Because God has brought him a long way. Yes. Yes. He ain't going to bring him all the way. Oh, yes. All the way. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 I look at my sister back there. And she, she's come a long way. Yes. And God going to bring her what? All, all the way. way. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. You just need a little light this morning. Yeah. True light. Yes. Not TV light. True light. Yes. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse, verse 3 of 1 John chapter 2. We know that we have come to know him if we what? Obey. Keep his commands. You say, what is his commands? Let me tell you something. Jesus gave you just two commandments and all the ten commandments and every rule in the Bible is wrapped up in them too, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Love the Lord God with all your heart, mind, soul, and all your strength. And love your neighbor. Yes. Let me tell you something. If you don't love your neighbor, you say, well, who is that? I like if somebody came to church and was coming to church years ago, told me, said, well, my neighbor's in the battle and needs my help. I said, that person going to chop to his chop. I was driving my car, minding my own business the other day, and a man just fell down in the road, right in front of my car. I'm ready to go home. I'm hungry. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. He looked like he just had pajamas on, and he really could not get up. I put that mercy light on and pointed at them people and said, don't you hit me. And I went to help that man. And a lady came to me, and she was so sweet. She was there, and she helped me pick him up. Dead weight, really. He had just come out of the emergency room. And he had all kinds of papers and pills in his hand. And he barely could see. I think he might have been blind. I don't know. So I helped him up. And she's had a daughter to call 911. So here we hold enough to track it. People going around us and going around my car. Just me and that lady. How can you just go around that? I don't know how they can do it. We cannot. I don't know his name. Never seen him before. When the lady left to get in her car, I had to walk him across the street. And I don't know where I'm even taking him. Then a policeman comes. And we put him in the police car to take him home. You never know That's right. That's right. when God's going to test you yes. to see if you love your neighbor. Yes. 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 My wife was coming out of the store. You got stories just like this. And a lady comes out and she says she got all these groceries and she wants to know, uh, can, you, can you bring me home? And here she's trying to get home to cook my dinner, and I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, oh, I'm going to have to think. But she gets out. She asks the lady where she has to go. The lady said, well, I was waiting on somebody, and they didn't show up, and I'm just trying to get home. She puts her stuff in. She takes her home. How many times has you had to show if you love your neighbor? Come on, y'all. This is chapter two of chapter. Y'all better not let me catch y'all not doing just that. I know it's a scary world we live in. And I know somebody told me, said, that man could have got up and cut your throat. I said, well, he had to do a whole lot of cut. Because I ain't going to sit down there and do it. I might be a preacher, but I'm a surviving preacher. <laughs> listen, listen to me. If you don't have that kind of love for your neighbor, you don't have the true light. You just got to work on that. You understand? Work on it. Because God's going to test you. Yes, he will. It may be a neighbor or a friend. It may be your own child. But he's going to test you. Love your neighbor. Hallelujah. Listen. Verse 4 says, whoever says I know him but does not do what he commands is a liar. And the truth is not in that person. But if anyone obeys his word, love, read it with me, love for God is truly made complete in them. This is how we know we are in him. Whoever claims to live in him, read it with me, must live as Jesus did. Dear friends, I'm not writing you a new command, but an old one which you have had since the beginning. This old command is the message you have heard. Yeah, I'm writing you a new command. It's truth is seen in him and in you because the darkness is, say with the darkness is passing and the true light is already shining. Anyone who claims to be in the light but hates his brother, a brother or sister 
is still in what? Dark. Anybody you hate? Can't y'all tell that hatred leads to murder? You wonder why people are killing people and don't care. It leads to murder. Don't hate nobody. Because sooner or later. <clears throat> I've been there, done that. Don't you hate? I mean, even if they do you in, if they tear you to pieces, don't ever hate them. Because the light is in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anyone who claims to be in the light hates his brother or sister is still in what? Darkness. Darkness. How many of y'all still in darkness? Oh, you better not have a <laughs> Anyone who loves their brother and sister really with lives in the light, and there is nothing in them to make them stumble. But anyone who hates a brother, a sister, is in the what? Darkness. And walks around in the what? Darkness. They do not know where they're going because the darkness has blinded them. How many of y'all walk in love? I can tell you right now, if you're walking in love, you're walking in the light. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Darkness cannot overcome the light. You just keep on shining. Keep on shining. Don't let fear into your heart or worry into your heart. Just say, I'm going to keep on loving and I'm going to keep walking in the light. I'm going to live as Jesus did. I ain't counting your sins. I ain't counting your mistakes, your offenses. I don't care what you did to me. I'm going to still walk in love. Because the true light is in me. Today when you leave here, I want you to know the measure of whether you have true life is how you treat your brother and sister. Yeah, yes. The measure of whether Christ is in you is do you love despite what other people do to you? You say you're talking about a hard thing. Well, you know, the apostles, Jesus taught them a lot of hard things. Some of them left. But just because it's hard, God will give you grace to do it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The true light. The true light. He'll show you the way. He says, I am the way. Truth and life. You can't go around thinking no man is giving you light. God gives you light. How many of y'all know that? God gives you light. Jesus is, somebody say with the light of the world. You live as Jesus did. Walk in the light as he is in the light. Love your brother and sister and love the Lord your God as yourself. That's the love that the Israelites were supposed to give to the Gentiles. It's to show them a loving God. John also says in 1 John, God is love. So you're walking in him, you better not have no enemies. How many of y'all got enemies? Oh, I saw a car. All right, let's start. Father, Almighty Father, bless your people. Let your face shine upon them. When they need to, they Lord, let their light shine. When they sing at the Undoing Festival, let them see the light of God's love in the face of his people. Oh, God, wherever they go, Whatever they're going through, let your light prepare the way. For greater is he that is in them than he that is in the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Uh, you got the new church family? Let's all give the Lord a hand now. give yourself a hand clap. Let's keep in mind the door of the church is now open for those that like to come and give your life to Christ. We have this door now open. You can do so. Please do so. Like the pastor said earlier, you don't know the time nor the day or the hour when he's coming. But he will come back for everyone. Mother, brother, father, sister, Anybody and everybody, he's coming back. And this word is not my word, not the pastor word. It's in the Bible. It's in the John. Also in John, it's telling you that, you know. 
you know. So is there one? And also God knows your heart. You can hide from each other. Your wife, your husband, your brother. But you can't hide from God. You cannot hide people. He knows your heart. I'm going to leave it at that. Is there someone? Thank you. When I first got saved, I would have ran up on that right there. I'd have knocked that camera down. Because I want to be, I want you to be real with God. Hallelujah. And take your time. Don't ever come when you're not ready. But remember, at the end of every Sunday service, he's gonna do that. You, you get yourself prepared to run up here. Hallelujah. If you need it, if you got it, let's share it. Let your light shine. Y'all be blessed when you go out, go out in Christ. Walk by faith, not by sight. And the greater one lives in you if there's anything that you need to overpower that is evil in your life. Trust God for it. He will do it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray for all of you who are sick today. Cyber, Mr. McGuffey. I pray for, if you're sick, raise your hand. But Perry, Mr. and Mrs. Cook. Almighty God, we have just preached your word. Lord, you say signs will follow them that believe. Touch them right now, a million. Touch them all, Lord. Touch them all, Father. And heal them in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, we pray. Amen. Amen. Y'all be blessed.